Good morning. It is oh something thirty in the friggin' morning. I don't know what it is. Um, it's like three thirty or something. Today, it, today is our last solar panel trailer. Let's hit the road. Let's get this done. Let's get to Santa Rosa. Let's get paid. All right. Let's get hauling. The moon is still up. We're leaving so early. The moon is still up. Be again that's my first stop on uh, what well, will be three Phillips on the way to Santa Rosa hopefully we're gonna have to see I had a really nice start out of Vegas basically no wind whatsoever it was nice smooth sailing I was able to uh, pick it up a little bit um, keep a good speed you know um, 12 miles per gallon basically I was doing a little more but I had about a 12 and a half coming down and I was going a little bit faster than the normal you know 60 miles an hour because I'm trying to make a little time today and it's early morning and there's no traffic so I can kind of you know push the envelope a little but now we're gonna have to see because the winds are really bad through the Tehachapi Pass here so I'm gonna see how that will affect a my wear and tear in the truck because I don't like to beat the hell out of my truck and B, we'll see what it does for the gas mileage. The reason I left so early is because I'm trying to beat a storm that's coming through tonight, early morning, all tomorrow night, and Monday. And Tehachapi is supposed to get a lot of snow. So that's why I've left early. I'm trying to beat this weather. So get up there. I've got a pickup also in the area on the way back that's gonna go to California, so I wanna knock that out as well. It's just quick, three chairs, so it won't take long. And I want to get back past here tonight. I want to be over on the other side of this mountain before I stop. And that's going to be a hard haul. It's going to be a long day, but I got to get it done. So I need to quit yapping. I got to go get some coffee and get some fuel. <music> So I'm at the Flying J in Lodi, the cutoff for Highway 12, which is what's gonna take me over to Santa Rosa. It is currently 1 p.m.-ish, yep, right, right around there. And I averaged about 13.8 coming up this time. I'm, um, I'm kinda pushing a little more. 
Um, not like 70 miles an hour pushing it, but some of the hills that I normally just kind of let it coast up or I'll just try to, you know, maintain 55 or whatever, or I'll let it back down to 55 so I'm not pushing as hard. Uh, I kind of just left the cruise on 61 and let the truck push a little harder going up those hills and maintain the speed. So I burned a little more fuel compared to the last run up. Haven't really hit the winds yet, which is good. So I should have a pretty smooth run for the rest of the way. I should be there about 3.30 or so. I have to, just got found out from a customer, I gotta swing through Lafayette on the way home, which is on the way home. And I've gotta pick up a few chairs for him. That'll go down to Southern California. So more money down to Southern California on the way home. So I'm not running empty again. Although it's like, right now, it's like I just wanna drop this and I wanna burn and go because I know that this storm's gonna be bad. So all I can do is just try to get this done and uh, I guess I'll have to see how the weather holds out on the drive home. Hopefully I miss all this. Hopefully this runs a little slow and I can get ahead of it. I am I am gonna be tired, I know that. I can feel it now and I'm up here. And by the time I get the trailer dropped off, it'll, it'll have been a 12 hour day. But I've gotta push and I gotta get home. I gotta get ahead of this storm. Not that I'm towing anything or worried about anything, but I don't wanna get hung up and stuck somewhere for a day. And that can happen going through that pass. I could wind up being stuck in Tehachapi for a day and that would suck because I'm only a few hours from home and but yet I would be stuck overnight. That would, no, I don't like that. So let me go grab some more coffee and pay for the fuel and I'll get back underway and get this last solar trailer delivered. There's the clouds. There's the cloud line. That's the storm I'm trying to beat. I think I'll do it.
our solar trailer deliveries. Got them all done. Okay, so that wraps up trailer number four of the solar trailer deliveries. Great guy to deal with. Uh, I'm really glad that I met him and everything like that. Uh, there's gonna be more work that comes out of it there. So when I get home, I'll go ahead and tally everything up and put it at the end of the vlog. Okay, and the other thing I forgot to mention and I wanna do it now before I forget and I reset is that I got 13.2 miles per gallon on the ride up. So I pushed it a little bit, I got some bad winds and then you saw the hills I had to go up and down. So that's what wound up, 13.2 on this trip. So almost a mile per gallon less this trip than the last trip. A lot of that had to do with the wind through Tehachapi. I never really fully recovered from that because normally I was getting 14.2, 14.5 coming up through Central California and I never got back up. So the highest I got was 13.7. So yeah, that'll do it for you. That's what 6,835 pounds worth of trailer will do to your gas mileage. Lafayette, 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 California, Lafayette, Laf Lafayette, I don't know how the hell you say it, Lafayette, anyways, Lafayette, California, we're about to go, I'm about to go pick up uh, three chairs that I got to go down to Southern California. <laughs> Hey, I just want to stop in and let you know I am in Tehachapi again. I am getting fuel. I'm on my way back from Santa Rosa. I've uh, I've been doing okay, actually. I'm not overly tired so much. Uh, I've been actually going through Jay's Two Cents' uh, car videos, so that's kind of kept me awake. Been listening to that on the ride home. 
been having coffee and snacks and just kind of keeping rolling. Uh, been pushing it pretty good. Gas mileage is not going to be great going home because I've been, I found a, a good group of guys coming down the five. So we were, we were doing pretty good. Um, you know, nothing dangerous. Just, you know, we're making good time. We were doing probably about 75, 77. But yeah, nothing dangerous, nothing crazy. Just just a good group of people that were really moving through traffic well. So it's nice because sometimes what happens is you get the trucks double up and then it really slows you right down. But when you get a, when you kind of get involved in a line, usually the truckers are, are pretty good about not pulling out because they see the fast line coming. So that's that's more of what it's been. So I'm filled up. I've got a little slice of pizza and some fresh coffee and Google says I'll be home by about 2.15. I'll see if I can beat that. Or if I feel unsafe, I'm just going to pull over and I'll take a nap. Let's get hauling and see what happens. Okay, I'm home. I've been up for 24 hours straight now, like right on the money. Been driving for 22 hours, so uh, that's enough. <laughs> I should have stopped probably for a nap, um, but I've, I'm still kind of feeling a little bit awake, so uh, I get a good night's sleep the night before, and this is kind of how the way I am. Sometimes I will go 24 hours without sleeping. It's just a, a thing, but I will go to sleep now, and I probably won't wake up until the afternoon. So we're done. All the solar trailers were delivered, finished, I really don't have anything else to say other than that I'm glad that we're done with this project. I'm glad to be home. I need to get out of my truck and get into my bed. And remember, if you like the vlogs, if you like what I'm doing and you're interested in it, make sure that you sub, maybe throw your notifications on. And until next time, keep hauling. I left so early this morning because I'm trying to beat a storm that's going to come through here. The trains into Hatchby. Yeah, this is why I don't try to sleep here because you can't. You can't. So.